today is April the 1st, 2015, and I am here at 897 Hemingway Drive doing the move out inspection. Um, one, you can see there's a lot of trash and debris that need to be moved from the front yard. The tenant says they're not sure when the county would pick that up um, or that they would be picking it up. Just not sure exactly when. All right, as you can see right above the front porch, I'll start with things on the outside, is that there's some gutter. The gutter is bending a little bit right there. That could be a sign of a leak later on down the line um, with some gutter damage. All right, I'm going to start on inside of the home. But I'm sorry. First, we need to uh, get this trash and debris out of the yard and also do a cut since it's beginning the cut season. Uh, this yard really needs some attention. Okay, now we can go ahead and begin on the inside of the property. Um, once inside, the thing that's going to be common throughout the home is just the, the conditions of the walls and the flooring. And just the all around, all around general cleaning of this property. I didn't find anything to be non-functional. Uh, it's just the cleanliness of this property. As you can see, the window and the family room is in good condition. The fireplace was used by the tenant. They use real wood, so, but there would need to be a cover and it would need to be cleaned. And also there's a crack in the back of the fireplace that may need to be looked at. I'm going to start making my way through this dining area right here and then through the kitchen and garage. As you can see, just based on the walls, there's lots of places where we will need to repaint in this property. You will notice that laundry door that I'm kind of looking at right now is off track and that the condition of the laundry area is just very, very dirty. You can see that door is off track there. Needs to be, I recommend replacing those doors. All right, here we've got the refrigerator. And just the condition of the refrigerator. So you've got some what look to be sunflower seeds on top of the refrigerator. All white appliances in the kitchen. One thing I did notice is that this stove does not have a window. It's not something that I think the owner is going to change, but haven't seen any like that before. Um, once again, just the condition of the walls, um, I recommend cleaning. This door stop right here would need to be replaced because it's broken. And as you can see, there's already been damage to the wall behind the garage door. So I recommend repairing or replacing the door stop there. Now I'm going to step out into the garage. Open the garage for light and also let you know that it works out here. As you can see, the garage door opens without problems. I'm going to circle around to the area that has the water heater, just so you can get a glimpse of that. All right, then also, I'm going to show you the condition of the garage floor and the wall on that side. Okay. That's going to do it for the common areas in this house. Now I'm going to roll on down this hallway and allow you to take a look at the first is going to be a secondary bedroom. I'm sorry, bathroom. 
just want to zoom in on those walls, the conditions of those walls again, as they are very dirty. This bathroom doesn't have many issues, but there are one or two things that need to be noted here. One being that the towel rack is broken. You can see one of the ends that hold the, the rod in place has been broken from the wall. Uh, and there's some sheetrock damage there. I recommend replacing that and repairing that. Also, you'll notice that the rod in the tub that goes across here is also broken. And just the tub needs to be cleaned thoroughly anyways. Also, paint needed in here. All right, I'm going to roll to the master bedroom, which is the next door on your right-hand side. You'll notice the window coverings in this room are in perfectly good shape, as well as the windows behind them. However, once again, the walls are just extremely dirty. And you can also see some debris and the condition of the carpet. Just a lot of dirt and debris. Looks like this carpet was barely vacuumed. Then leading into the master bathroom, you've got a little carpet tear where it uh, meets the threshold. And here you've just got some dirty laminate. It just needs to be really clean. Um, also, I recommend cleaning the tub. Doesn't look like that has ha happened often. So, so far, the major issues in this property is doing a general cleaning, deep clean. Also, painting or touch painting throughout. I just recommend an all-around, altogether new paint job, honestly. The next door that's going to be across the hall is a secondary bedroom. And once again, this is consistent with the rest of the home. Although not as bad as everywhere else, you can just see there needs to be some painting done. And I'm going to roll to the next bedroom, which would be the third bedroom, or the second secondary bedroom. Here you can see the carpet is, in, is pretty dirty. Um, then you just got the walls that need to be touched up or painted. Also, you've got damaged window covering. We've got a wire hanging out of the outlet down there. I want to bring to your attention. And then just more marks and things like that on the wall. I also meant to bring to your attention the window coverings in this bedroom. As you can see, they are damaged. All right, that will conclude our move out inspection for 897 Hemingway. You have a great day.